What's going on guys and today I'm bringing you my review of the Gravity Rush for the PS Vita. Now it's one of those games that kind of like surprised me you know I was like well yeah I'll try you know I'll, you know why not I'll play it. So I was playing it and it really you know surprised me how you know how pretty much great the game is you know aside for you know it's it's you know it was pretty I had a you know I had a pretty good time playing the game you know a couple of hours. You know, well, I was, well, it, it, a few hours of into it, you know, I started liking the game, you know, like, at the beginning, they'll tell you, you know, a bit of the story, and then the story unfolds as you, you know, as you go through the campaign and everything, there's also side missions, which are pretty, these are pretty fun, you know, the, they'll help you gain gems that look like, the, um, you know, these purple, you know, crystals that look like from Crash Bandicoot from games, and then they're pretty well done, and they're, it's a it's a really great game you know let me start off with the graphics the graphics look great on this game the graphics look, you know really look sharp you know the colors look great you know colorful and everything but it, the graphics remind me of kind of like borderlands 2 in a way but you know still nonetheless the graphics are pretty much great and now now aside from that the controls the controls are pretty simple you know circles for the to control to pick up from um, you know pretty much anything on the ground you know that's you know removable like such as a person or a box or a trash can that's that uh, not only that there's also um, X to deactivate the gravity control um, squares for the the, the kicking or uh, the activity the to kick and triangle I believe is to activate the special attacks now not only that, circles also to control the gravity, so you can fly up and down. You also get this um, this meter, the gravity meter, how long you control it, and everything like that. So you're playing as a character of a cat. Now the cat wakes up um, from, I guess, um, having an amnesia. She doesn't remember anything. She doesn't remember all these memories. So I get um, this, you know, this, this guy gives her a name. You know, and I'm gonna call you cat. I'm like, okay, that's a cool name. Now that you know, there's some parts of the you know, the game that's pretty funny. You know, it's you know pretty sad and everything like that. But overall, the, you know, the storyline is pretty well done. The story is pretty great, and I enjoyed it. And the story is pretty good. And it was, you know, it's pretty solid. And all this fucking. Universe. Anyways, sorry about that. And so the controls, the game takes advantage of the PS Vita's hardware, meaning the gyroscope, the solarometer, the you know the touch screen, the the rear panel, and everything like that. But the, the accelerometers that are used when you're sliding around the gravity, sliding around the, the area, the gyroscope, you can move left or right, the camera also moves, you move, you know, you move the PS Vita overhead, the, the, the camera moves also, so it's pretty well done. So, but the, the fighting system is pretty simple, square, you do combos with square, and you can also do combos with the gravity, with the uh, with triangle, with, um, you know, when you're flying from the, when you're flying you can for circle and square and you can do all these attacks which is pretty cool and um, I don't know you could also you know slide attacks by holding the the front screen by placing your well two by touching the screen by both hands or in this case by both thumbs you can move around with the accelerometer left or right which is pretty cool which is pretty fun and everything like that now Aside from the, there's not really a lot of dialogue, I suppose. No, there is, but not like a voice dialogue, I suppose. The uh, cat speaks um, some foreign language I, I, I don't understand. I thought it was French, but um, I, I don't believe it is. But um, none of that, not a lot, it's mainly text. You know, it has a comic book uh, tie, style of cutscenes, which uh, you will see throughout the video. And pretty much you know, conversations are just plain text, and it, it reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy. You touch the dialogue, and you, you, that's it, you move on. And it's pretty cool because um, not only that, there's also um, there's also uh, there's costumes for for Cat, and um, which is the main you know the main protagonist. And um, there's also like the the, the schoolgirl, which you get for the campaign. Now, but the rest you have to unlock it via DLC. So there, it's a few bucks, you know, for for it. You know, you get the maid and you get some. Uh, 
Anyways, but also you get uh, a few a few missions also on the side, which you know they're for around a few bucks, but it, it, it's okay nonetheless. But now one of the downsides of this it's it's the whole gravity thing. It, it takes a little bit to get used to. You know, there's the whole sensitivity and everything like that. But the whole going up, left, down, stopping, and everything like that. That's like the only downside in the beginning. Yeah, it's a little. It takes a little bit to get used to, but once you get it. It's all smooth sailing. It's, it's you know it's smooth. You go fast. You know how to control the like, well, you, you know your gravity powers and everything like that. So which is pretty cool like that. Overall, you know, overall I I really enjoy playing this game. You know, and it's the story is solid. You know, it's pretty great. The graphics are great. You know, the controls are easy and you know, comfortable to use. Or you know, just pretty much simple to use. Maybe aside from the whole gravity playing up and down, but yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple like that. And um, basically, the whole st you know, the story, you know, the storyline is pretty, you know, it depends on how good you are. And you know, if you don't do the side missions and everything like that, maybe uh, four hours you'll finish it, maybe four or five. But if you do the side missions, maybe like I don't know, eight hours, maybe if you're trying to get all of the, 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 all the. Um, because every mission has a like a, a rank, like a one, like a gold, silver, and bronze. So if you try to get the gold, it might take you a, oh, a while to get all of them. So there's also like other secret um, Easter eggs, hunts, you know, there's missing people around the whole town. So it's pretty much it's pretty much cool. Now one thing I like to highlight is the music. The music in this game is brilliant. Now. This music reminds me a lot um, in certain um, sections of the towns. It, rem it reminds me of a house moving castle. Now, if you're unfamiliar with that movie, go watch it. It's a great one. <laughs> now, it also reminds me of a few Final Fantasy games, old school Final Fantasy games in certain towns. And yet, there's also some hidden adult dialogue in there. Some only some certain kids might, you know, not kids, certain um, teenagers or adults might get. For if you're a kid, you're like. You might not notice it if you're, if you're in the kid. Then you're probably like, tell me, tell me, I won't tell you. <laughs> Anyways, so that's pretty much cool. Like, you know, for this game, it's one of my favorite PS Vita games. And uh, I highly, I highly recommend this game. It's like one of the, you know, easy one of my top three favorites, you know. And, um, yeah, I give it two thumbs up. You know, for, for you guys who are looking for a score. I gave it 9 out of 10, you know, aside from a little bit of the gravity issue like that, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty much more well done and everything like that. I really enjoyed this game and um, if, if you guys check it out too, you might enjoy the game as well. Anyways, that's it for my review. You know, if you have any questions about Gravity Rush, let me know and I'll, just, and I'll see if I can answer them. Well, that's it for me guys and I'll see you guys on the next one.